before we get into the common class today, I just wanted to say if you're watching this before October 16th, 2024, this is going to be, for a little bit, the last common clash that's uploaded until after the Renegade Con stream on the weekend, because there is the gameplay video of me that's going to be on that stream. So, you can check that out if you want. And I will say, if you've watched Common Clash with me and playing with a friend, it's going to be very similar to that, but it is not a Common Clash. So, you can expect the same type of video that you've been seeing here. Anyway, let's get into the challengers and the defending champions. Returning to defend their spot at the top is going to be the Armok Vipers, and they are again bringing along the Venok Warlord. The Armok Vipers have Ular Warlord bonding. Before taking a turn with Armok Vipers, you may first take a turn with any Warlord you control who follows Ular. And Slither. Armok Vipers do not have to stop their movement when entering water spaces. Venok Warlord. Scout Leadership. All scouts you control can move an additional two spaces. Frenzy Enhancement. Add one to your die roll when you roll for the Frenzy Power on an army card. And Slither. Venok Warlord does not have to stop his movement when entering water spaces. Now, he doesn't benefit the Armok Vipers very much. However, he is a bonding option. So he essentially, while is al he is alive, makes them a four-person squad. So that's why he's being brought along. And, as you can get a little hint here, it's a gimmick match. But first, the challengers. Today, the Microcore agents and their hero, Queen Kyrian, are going to attempt to destroy the Armok Vipers. They have the following abilities. Stealth Armor 15. When a Microcore agent receives one or more wounds before removing that agent, roll a 20-sided die. If you roll a 15 or higher, ignore any wounds. Water Suits. Microcore agents do not have to stop their movement when entering a water space. Add 2 to a Microcore agent's defense when he is on a water space. And Sighting. When a Microcore agent is attacking with a height advantage, he rolls an additional attack die. Queen Kyrian. Heartfinder Spear 12. Before attacking with Queen Kyrian, you may roll a 20-sided die. If you roll a 12 or higher, a figure attacked by Queen Kyrian may roll no more than one die for defense. And the keyword Stealth Flying. And here is the map today. There is no height, no line of sight blockers. The only bonuses are going to be the shadow tiles, which add defense. Other than that, it's pure water. So... This is what we are doing today. I've got four glyphs that are symbol side up, not power side up yet, and one treasure glyph right in the center. There are six total spots of wellspring water as well back near each starting zone. So, you know what's next? Initiative. That's going to be 14 to 1. Microcore are going to go first. All right. Order marker number one is going to be on the agents themselves. They have a movement of five. So we will go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. We'll stop there. They have a range of seven. They can't reach anything. Armok Vipers are going to go, bonding with the Venok Warlord. He's got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Stop in the shadow. Now they each have a movement of seven as well. This one will go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll stop there in the shadow. Number two, microcore agents. And we are going to go one, two, three, four. Glyph of Erland summoning. We will summon this Armok Viper to right there. I don't want to engage with the Venok Warlord with these guys because he's got a little more health, a little more survivability. Hopefully we can take one of those out, though. Then we've got... 
One, two, three, four, five. We'll stop there. One, two, three, four. We'll stop here with this one. Glyph of Jalgard, defense plus two. Oh, no. And with the water, I think I know how that's going to go. Anyway, let's do an attack right across here at the Armok. That's going to be two. He is standing in water, so he gets two to his defense. All right. Oops, there's D20s in this cup. It's going to be one. The Armoks have a defense of three. Nothing. First kill is the dude who was summoned. Okay, then we've got one, two, three, four, five. This one's going to shoot at the Venok Warlord. For one, Venok Warlord has a defense of three plus one for shadow. Two, defended. And we'll take another shot at the Venok Warlord. For one. And does not defend it. Takes a wound. Okay. Order marker number two. Venok Warlord is going to go. And we will... We'll stop there in the shadow and get an attack. That is going to be four. Ooh, four. Not bad at all. All right. He is not standing on water because he's on a glyph, but I believe that it doesn't affect that. Yes, even though there is a physical piece of a glyph there, the tile it's on still retains all of its defense and attack bonuses or detriments. So, we've got three normally, two for the water, and two for Jalgard. That's too many. Three normally, two for Jalgard, two for the water. And he rolled none. So we are going to stealth suit and see what happens here. Looking for a 15 or higher. He's dead. Well, that wasn't as awful as I expected it to be. Now the Armox are going to... Uh, not be dumb here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, can't make it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't make it because you'd become engaged with that guy. They can't make it if we surround him, though. So, one, two, three, four, five, and he's not in water. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll stop here. Glyph of Dagmar initiative plus eight. So, there's that. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll stop this one here. All right, we will get an attack across right there. That is going to be three. And that's going to be two. He's standing in shadow, so he gets one bonus defense. And two. He's defended. Okay. Now... Number three, Microcore Agents. So, I gotta try for this. Uh, I'm gonna try for a leaving engagement attack because if I can secure that glyph again, which I can't do, it's probably worth the risk to try a leaving engagement attack. So, first off, one, two, three, four. Glyph of Ivor, range plus four. All right. And now their effective range is 11. So, we will also we'll try a leaving engagement attack. Makes it. Okay. Get that glyph back. And then we will... We're not going to move anybody. Don't need to move. They can come to the start zone now. He's still get there. So, let's do some attacks. Gonna get an attack right there. The Armok. 
for one. None. Ah. He was in shadow. One. He's defended. All right. A little bit almost almost a snooze you lose there, but... Six, seven. Yeah, he can reach. Let's do an attack from this guy to that viper. For one. And none. Still takes one out. And we will do an attack on the Armok or the Venok Warlord. Okay. For one. He's in shadow, so he gets three normally. One for shadow. Two. Defended. Okay, order marker number three. Venok Warlord. He's just going to stay in attack there. So he's got an attack of three. That's going to be two. He is standing in water, so he's got three normally. Two for Jalgard. Two for the suit. And he's all right. Okay. Venox are up. Um, I probably want the initiative. This one will go here. And we will do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll get an attack right across there. For two. And he is standing in water, so three normally. Two for Jalgard. And two for his water suits. And he's all right. A bulwark of defense. That's going to be it for this round. So, setting up order markers again. Because the X order marker is here. Okay. And that's going to be 6 to 9, technically, because of Dagmar. So, Armox first. Warlord's going to, again... Try a strike here. That's going to be two. Water suits adds two. Jail guard adds two. And three. Defended. Okay. Okay, um, we are going to get two attacks on this guy here. For one. Defended. And again. For one. Defended. Now we will get an attack across on that one. For one. And defended. Okay. Now it's time for the agents to respond in kind here. Got one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay. This one is going to shoot at that Armok for nothing. This one will shoot at this one for two. He is in shadow. Still only rolls one. And 
This one is going to shoot at that one. All right, two more. And dead. Armok's getting slaughtered here. But it is their turn. Armok Vipers bonding with Venok Warlord. He's going to stay in the shadow. And he's going to try and swipe at that guy. For three... That is only two, so we're going to roll for Stealth Suit 15. Four. Stealth Suit, you're dead. Okay. And again, momentum has possibly shifted. So we are now going to do the Armok Vipers. We are going to definitely take this. We are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll lock down two of those guys and get an attack here. First, we'll attack the middle guy. No, we won't. That's a dud roll. All right. Uh, that was worst. Terrible, even. Okay. Let's do microcore agents. And they are going to go... The shadow doesn't really benefit them. They get a better bonus being in the water. So, let's try and get this glyph back. A. One, two, three. Two, three. And two, three, four, five. Okay, first we'll take a shot across. And nothing. This one will also shoot at the glyph for nothing. And this one will he will also shoot at the armok on the glyph. For two. Okay. Three normally, two for Jalgard. Nothing. Man, this glyph has been contested. Quite often. Okay. Number three. Bonding with the Venok Warlord who... He could go in for a kill, but forces are thin on the front lines. So, let's go... Two, three, four. That one will stop there. And... Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one will stop in the shadow. Let's get an attack right across here. Make it so. That's going to be two. And they've got three normally, two for water suits. And defended. Okay, we will get an attack here on this one, on the glyph. Three. Three normally, two, four, water suits. Three defended. Not going in the Armok's favor. However, Queen Kyrian is going to go. So with only a movement of four, she is slow. One, two, three, four. Might as well stop here. And we are going to try a Heart Finder Spear 12 on this Armok. That's not enough. Let's go for an attack then. Uh, that's going to be one. There we go. One. 
defended. I thought I would have had more of these vipers dead by the time she was going to activate, so oops. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. These nightmarish creatures can be fought. They can be beaten. So we've got two and six and no Dagmar. So Microcore are going to go first. And we are going to do number one. Is going to be on the agents proper. So, you know, the range doesn't quite matter. Yes, it does. Uh, that's stupid. Charge them in to engage in battle when there's no need. We'll just go here. And we will go one, two, three, four, five. We'll stop that one there. And we'll get another safety net here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he can reach. They can all reach. All right, we are going to get a shot on the Venok Warlord. Nope. Another shot on the Venok Warlord. No. You know, the Venok Warlord will not give up that glyph. So why are we trying to kill him with every shot when we could be shooting at who's advancing? So this one is going to shoot at... Oh, he's in shadow. Go for the Venok Warlord. For two. Venok Warlord has a defense of three, plus two for Jalgard. And two, defended. And this guy will take a long shot over the Venok Warlord again. For two. Three normally, two for Jalgard. Two, defended. Okay, well, that's going to be a chance to move some of these guys up. They're bonding with the Venok Warlord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll stop in the shadow there. That one will stay there. That one will stay there. Okay. And gonna give up an attack here no we're not let's do an attack across on the glyph for two Three normally two for water suits one does not defend stealth suit stealth armor 15 one there goes your bonus range as well we're gonna t get an attack on that micro core all right for one and two defended and we will get an attack again we're still gonna try and kill this guy and that's gonna be two For two. Woo! Number two, order marker. That's going to be the micro core. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three. We'll take the Ivor back. We'll get an attack into the shadow. For nothing. We'll get an attack on the Venok Warlord. No, we'll get an attack right here. For two. We've got a defense of three normally, two for Jalgard. Two defended. And we will do an attack. Try this one on the shadow there. nothing. Okay, now there's a reason I didn't attack the Venok Warlord. Might have been a dumb one, but we're going to try. Anyway, Armok Viper is bonding with the Venok Warlord, who is not going to do anything, and we will... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll give up an attack this time. We'll attack again over on Ivor. So that is going to be
three. And they have three defense normally, two for the water suits. For three. And let's try an attack on this one then. For two. And only rolls one. So, here we go. Stealth Armor 15. 12. Another dud. You guys didn't charge your batteries before you left your submersible. Okay. Number three, Queen Kyrian. This is why I did not attack the Warlord. So Queen Kyrian is going to stealth fly. No leaving engagement attacks. One two, three, four, and we will engage there. Heartfinder Spear 12. That's a 10. Not enough. Still, maybe your spear will find his heart. Who knows, maybe he has more than one. Okay, one. Your spear is going to find nothing because that was a terrible attack. Well, Venoff Warlord hasn't been rolling great. But, rolled just fine there. Okay. Venox, or Armox, are going to go with their third order marker. And bonding with the Venoff Warlord, he's going to actually get an attack in. Queen Kyrian for one, and she is a defense of four, two, defended. Okay, and now we will do, Armok Vipers are going to go, one, two, three, four, we'll go in the shadow there, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll stop Shadow there. We'll do another attack on Queen Kyrian. For one. Defended. And we will do an attack on this Ivor Glyph guy. For two. Three normally, two for water suits for one and again here we go we're gonna try another stealth armor 15 17 he lives yay you did it once okay that is the round order markers are already set nobody's on Dagmar going for the initiative and that is going to be 8 to 2 Queen Kyrian is going to go first and can't get that shadow spot. So we are going to Heartfinder Spear 12. 18! He can only roll one die for defense. So. Here we go. Three. And due to Heartfinder Spear 12, he gets one. And blanks it. So there's three. Not bad bikini at all. So let's do Armok Vipers bonding with the Venok Warlord, who's going to attempt to lash out at Queen Kyrian for that slight against him. For two. And blocked. All right. Armok in the shadows. We need to move some more here. Can't just do this. Let's lock these two guys down. In the shadow there. Shadow zone. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll stop there. All right. So we will do an attack across right there. For two. Three normally, two for water suits, and only one. So we will attempt a 
stealth armor. Not enough. Boy. Okay. Moved this one. Now, do I want to get an attack? Yes, I want to get an attack on Queen Kyrian. Otherwise, that Heart Finder will eventually wipe out the Warlord, but I only put one Order Marker on her, so might have to change that up. We are going to go one, two, three, four, five, five. Fire. One, two, three, fire. And then we are going to also move this guy out of the shadows. One, two, three, four, five. And. Two, three, four, five. Okay, this guy is going to get. Right, from his perspective, those arm ox look huge. And he can see the Venok Warlord is lifting up his arm. He's like, here, is this the face you're trying to shoot? Take a shot. This guy is going to attempt to take down that Armok in the shadow. For two, not bad. Three normally, two for Jalgard, one for shadow. Nothing. Blanks. Great shot. All right, great shot, kid. Now we will do. We're gonna get a shot at the Venok Warlord. We can't just trust Queen Kyrian to handle everything. One. It's gonna be three defense normally, two for Jalgar. One defended, and we'll take another shot at the warlord. One, two defended. Okay, and now we will go over here. It's time for the Armok Vipers bonding with the Vinuk Warlord. Attacking Queen Kyrian for two. She can't keep withstanding attacks like this. One. There, she takes her first wound. Okay. Armox. Go there. And. We've got, a, we've got a healthy group here. We've got four up here, so we don't need to move one up until one dies. So let's get some attacks in. We're going to attack Queen Kyrian. We're going to miss Queen Kyrian. We're going to get an attack there on Bubba Hotep on the edge over there. Okay, that's going to be two. It's got three normally, two for water suits. Two, defended. And we'll get an attack on Gliffy McPherson. So that is going to be three for two. Three normally, two for water suits. One. Survives possibly due to stealth armor. Fifteen just makes it. That guy's been a thorn in the Armox side. Order marker number three, that's an X. Order marker number three is going to be on the microcore agents. And we are going to go one, two, three, four, five. One. And one. We're going to move those there. Okay. With an effective range of 11, I believe they can all shoot at the Warlord. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. They can all shoot at the Warlord. He's tall enough that they all have line of sight. So, first off, shooting at the Warlord. No. No. Yeah. Shoot at the Warlord. He's rolling the most dice against Kyrian. Okay, one. And 
one, three normally, two for jail guard. Okay, take another shot. Bazork misses and take another shot. Miss, nope. Ooh, one. And that is two defended. What a terrible turn. Okay, number three. Venok Warlord taking the opportunity to throw another two damage towards Kyrian, who takes another one. She's only got two life left. Okay. And again, we're set up in a decent spot, so let's get a swipe. Ooh, three against Kyrian. For two, takes another one, has one hit left. Oh, man. Okay, let's get an attack right there. That's going to be one. Two, defended, and we'll get an attack right there again. And two. Two, defended. Okay. Just exchanging blows and swapping paint here is pretty much what they're doing. Little, little jabs at each other. That is the round. All right, this could be a terrible round for the Microcore agents. I committed two order markers to Kyrian. 16 to 12. Well, <laughs> that is gonna be Armok bonding with the Venok Warlord. And one. None. Kyrian's dead. Well, I should have committed to her last round, not this round. Our mocks are now going to go, and they are going to be a force of death, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Lock those guys down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we'll get an attack across right there. Two. And nothing. Three. No stealth suit. I'm getting attack in the center here. No, we'll attack the shadow out of the shadow. I've been trying to kill that guy long enough. One. Defended, and we'll get an attack on middleman. No, we won't. One, two, three. I would have had to attack with him, so we'll say that that attack out there was for that guy, because it was one, two, and then I moved that one. That was a mistake. Anyway, number one was on Queen Kyrian, who is dead. So it passes back to the Armox. Venok is not going to move. Armox are going to go. Stop and shadow there. And we will. Uh, one, two, three, four. They can't take treasure glyphs, but they can stand on it and prevent a dead hero from getting it. But anyway, I wanted to lock that guy down. He can't get to the glyph. Okay, attack. For two. And that is just going to be one. You didn't stealth armor. We'll get an attack there. All 
right, one, and one defended. And we'll try this one again. Nothing. Order marker number two was on Queen Kyrian. So again, order marker number three passes to the Venox. And they are actually going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll take Dagmar. And we will do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop there. And we'll get an attack from Treasure Glyph across for three, for two, seventeen. He lives. Okay, order marker number three is going to be on the Microcore agents. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And we'll stop there. Okay, this one's going to take a shot at front line here. For two. Three defense normally. Two for Jalgard. Does not defend. This one will shoot at the front line one here. I moved this one. This one and this one. Yeah, this guy here will shoot at that front line. For one. Defended. And we'll take another shot, same one. And one. With rolls like this, you guys might as well pack it in now. This is going to be it for the round. Setting up order markers. Not that I need the X anymore. Okay. That is going to be... Um, whoops. 23-3. Uh, to 3. Our mocks are going to go first. Okay. Bonding with the Venok Warlord. Who is going to go get his hands dirty. He's just sitting there doing nothing. So. No. Yeah. Yeah. Stop there with him. Get an attack on that guy. For three. Three normally, two for water suits. Not enough. Even your stealth armor could not protect you. All right. Our mocks are going to go. Seven. Four. We'll stop this one here. All right. Get an attack right across there on that guy. Looks juicy for the killing. That's going to be two. Three normally, two for water suits. Yeah. Might have looked juicy for killing, but four defense stops that thought and that is going to be it for them number one microcore agents well take that and stop there 
No, I took my hand off there, so he's there. Okay. Take a shot at Shadow. No, yeah. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are going to take a shot at the guy on Jalgard. For one, two, defended. line of sight. He can see the Armok on the glyph. I had to pause the camera because I accidentally flipped it around and I didn't want you to see my pants. But, my pants are cool enough. You might as well check them out. I mean, coolest character ever. So, we will get a shot off. <laughs> Moron. Okay. And that's all of them that can try a ranged attack. So we'll get middleman here to take a jab. Two. Three normally. Two for Jalgard. And that is going to be nothing. Where was that roll when you were trying to save your teammates? Could have killed that guy. But hindsight is 2020. Foresight is 0 0. Let's do order marker number two. Let's try this. And as usual, I'm just going to say on a one to five, he receives a wound and does not pick up the treasure. So we will. wounds himself. He almost died from that. Okay, I don't think I'll be going for that again. Alright, our mocks are gonna go. We'll stop here. And we'll stop there. Okay, we'll get an attack across right there. For three One, twelve, man, we will get an attack right here. For two, and two. Okay, microcore. Go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. We'll stop here. Okay, first we'll take a shot on Jalgard for two. Does not defend. Jalgard is up for grabs. And now defenses are lowered. We are going to take a shot at the Venok Warlord. For one. Bozo. Alright, he's dead. Shouldn't have gone for that treasure. And we will also get a shot on defenseless here, not in the shadow. For one. And one. Defended. Okay. Armox bonding with nobody because he went for a treasure and exposed himself to the elements and died. So, Armox are going to go. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll take Jalgard again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six. 
we'll stop there. Okay. I'm getting attack right there. And that is going to be one. Defended. That shield is printed weird. Okay. Well, microcore. This one's going to stay engaged and go there. We are going to. Okay. And. This one's going to stay engaged, but engage both of those. Okay, we're going to take a shot at Jalgard. Two. Two. Defended. We're going to take an attack on Jalgard again. Nothing. And we're going to attack the guy who's not in shadow. For two. Three. Defended. Awful. Okay. Set up the order markers again. Nobody's on Dagmar. 16, 15. Armox are first. Okay. Let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll engage there. All right, we'll do an attack on this guy here. For one. Defended. And we will get an attack on this one. No. We're going to attack from Jalgard to that guy. Okay, one. Defended. Order marker number one, microcore. We're gonna attack Jalgard. That's gonna be one. Three normally, two for Jalgard. One defended. Okay, attacking defenseless here. Well, not quite defenseless, just not in shadow. For one. Defended, and we will do another attack there for nothing. Thrilling game right now. Order marker number two is going to be on the Armox. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just lock that down there. Okay, we'll get an attack here for two. Blank, well, one. Stealth armor saves him. I'm getting attack here. For one. And does not roll anything. 17. Stealth armor, and we will get an attack there. No, we won't. Yeah, we will. I moved him up and attacked once. Four, one. Two, defended. Okay, a bunch of... Wah, see, some goose. Okay, let's do... This little fantasy general. It's the the wizard said when he would cast a firestorm spell. Okay, microcore agents. You guys, if you're all locked in here, so we are just going to go stay engaged there. You know, you don't want to engage two of them. We'll move here. 
Okay, first we'll get an attack on Jalgard for one. Defended. We'll get an attack across right there. That's going to be one. Defended. And we'll do another attack right there. For two. Two. Defended. <laughs> These guys are like Sisyphus rolling here. The second they start to make ground, it just comes back to nothing. Okay. Three. Armok Vipers. I'm going to get an attack right there next to Jalgard. For two. Defended. We'll do another attack. Trying to stop that guy from possibly freeing up Jalgard. For three. There we go. One. Eleven. That's a very critical figure that just fell. Okay, we will get an attack right here from this guy. Okay, one. And one. Defended. Alright, now there's a choice to be made here. Do I attempt a leaving engagement attack, attack, attack to try and get Jalgard and risk throwing a guy away for nothing? Nope, we're going to stay where we are. I, I could not go into, but just say I did. He would have been safe. Well, now that that's out of the way... We are going to get an attack here. Sometimes it might be, it's a 50-50 chance. <sighs> nah. I will not take the roll. Okay. We're going to get an attack there. Only two. Three dice in the cup. Okay. One. Three, you're fine. I'm getting another attack there on that guy. Nothing. And we'll get an attack right here. For two. Does not defend it. Alright, you did something. It took you three rounds to do it, but you did it. Okay, or three turns. Round is all three order markers. Nobody on Dagmar. Seven to four. Our mocks are first. Gonna get an attack. Gonna get an attack right... No, out of the shadow. Nope, we are gonna actually stay engaged and go here because that guy was freed up for ranged attacks. Giving up the shadow bonus to try and get a kill here. For three. And two. Eight. Okay. We'll do an attack here. For one. Defended, and we'll get an attack right there. For two. Defended. All right. Now, Michael Core are going to go. This one's going to attack right there. For two. Does not defend. 
Okay, let's get an attack right there. One. Two. Defended. And we'll get an attack right there. For nothing. Armox. It's going to stay engaged here, but he's going to move there to re-engage that guy. So we will do an attack down. For three. Does not roll a shield. Thirteen. Also does not stealth armor. We'll get an attack there out of shadow. One squad of microcore remains. One. Defended. And we'll get an attack across right there. For three. Does not defend. And does not stealth armor. Okay, microcore. Gonna get an attack right there. For two. Defended. And we will attack. We'll stay engaged here. One, two, three. Oh, nope. Can't move after you attack. Should have done that beforehand. Speeding up. Going too fast. It's gonna end with one. Defended. Okay, Armox, gonna go in shadow, and get an attack out of shadow there. For two, defended, do another attack out of shadow, same guy. Two. Defended. And we will attack right across. For a bunch of defense. Okay, micro core. We're going to attack this guy who's not in shadow here. Well, yes, we will. You lost your opportunity to move around. For two. One does not defend it. We are down to a single squad of Armox. We will get an attack in shadow right there. For two. Three normally, two for Jalgard, one for shadow. Defended. Okay. That's the round. Nobody on Dagmar again. Fifteen, twelve, micro core first. So we're gonna get an attack into shadow for nothing. And again, nothing. Okay, Armox attacking out of shadow. Gonna get that guy there for two. Defended, and we will attack same guy. For two. And does not defend it. And does not stealth armor. Okay. Order marker number one. Microcore agent. He's going to go for uh, an attack into shadow for one, three normally, two for Jalgard, one for shadow. Defended. All right. 
and we are going to do Armok Vipers. They are going to get an attack right across, and we are going to do uh, probably two attacks. Why is it that it's not that hard to figure out? Okay. For one. Defended. And two. Does not defend. So now we have to do the stealth armor, or stealth, yeah, stealth armor. 15, he lives. <laughs> okay. Let's do order marker number two. That is going to be on this guy here. He's going to attack into shadow there for two. And defended. Okay. Order marker number three is going to be on the Armok Vipers. For one. And defended. And again. One and defended. All right, order marker number three is going to be on the microcore agent. Oh, wait, no, that was the round. I don't need attack and combat die in my initiative rolls. All right, 19 to 11. Microcore agent is going to go first. Okay. And we will... We will get an attack. Right into the shadow. For one. Two. Defended. Okay, order marker number one, Armok Vipers. So we'll do two. That's going to be three. And not enough, only two. So we will go ahead and get the D20 for stealth armor. <laughs> 18. Okay. And we'll do another attack on him. For three. So that's going to be three defense dice normally. For three, four, five. <laughs> solid, solid defense roll. It's the most you could have done. Okay, order marker number two. Attacking into shadow. For two, so that is going to be two, uh, three normally, two for Jalgard, one for Shadow. And what? <laughs> he breaks it, he breaks it. Okay, let's keep that going then. Order marker number two is going to be on the Armok Viper, who's going to get an attack out of Shadow at... This guy right here. Okay. So we'll attack across and see what happens. One. That's good and well defended. So now, order marker number three going to be on the microcore agent. Going to, oops. That's going to be two. 
So we've got three, normally two for that, and one for Jalgard. One, he rolls one. He is done for. And that is it for the shadow. Oh, man. Order marker number three is on the Armok Viper. Do I... Okay. Now I have to make an ultimate choice here. Do I stay on the glyph and bring the fight to me? Or do I be offensive and bring the fight to the agent? I believe that that is push the attack is what you are encouraged to do. So... Foolish, though, to give up the extra two defense die. He has a he would have two defense die from uh, the water suit. So we're going to pass. And that's going to be the round. This guy's going to have to bring the battle to him. Okay. Sixteen to eighteen. Order mark number one. We're going to. will pass yeah okay order marker number one on the micro core it's gonna move in for two defended number two is gonna be on the armok blanks it order marker number two For one, defended, order marker number three on the Armok, for one, defended, and order marker number three on the Microcore Agent. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Order markers are set for what has got to be the final round. These guys can't keep this up forever. 11-4. For two. And he rolls one. 17. Stealth armors it. All right. He is going to get an attack on that guy. Blanks it. Order marker number two. Getting an attack on the microcore agent. For three. And does not defend it. Eighteen. Stealth armors it. Okay. And now we are going to do order marker number two. which is going to be an attack on the Armok Viper for one. Defended. And we will do order marker number three. For two. Two. Okay, order marker number three on the microcore agent. One. One, defended. I was wrong. That was not the final round. Okay, setting up order markers. <clears throat> order markers are set. Three to two. Armok attacks. Microcore defends. Order marker number one. Microcore agent. One. It doesn't defend. He's dead. The game's over. Wow. Okay. That was not what I expected at all when Kyrian went down. Okay. He should have went on the offensive. No, it was like a whole round of like eight rolls that wouldn't have made any difference. The Hall of Losers. 
not getting who I expected. That, oh, man. Well, well, well. Let's see. Where to put you? Up there. There you go. Hmm. That was uh, almost an exercise in futility. Just two people swinging nothing at each other. <laughs>